What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to part 5 of the Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play. Today we're going to be continuing through with the main quest and that's going to be my main focus during these next videos to get through the main quest and just do a little bit of thievery on the side as well. But let's get back into it. Right, I've got to go back to the bailiff and report to him about my training. So I'm just going to quickly run over there, guys, through the city again. Right, guys, we're on the other side of town now. And the bailiff uh, works in this building here. But I had to wait for him to come outside. He's just here, so I'm going to catch him quickly. Because um, the room he was in was a very hard lock and I couldn't get inside. Let's talk to him now. Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> it's so random sometimes when you're talking to people and they're just like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> be praised. Join the bailiff's service. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Indeed. Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. It's a good idea. Why would they listen to me? Obviously, Henry, because you're one of them. And you should look after us better. That's a fair point, you know. I might actually say this. You know what they say, Bailiff? Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Watch your step, Henry. Sir Hanush is hosting you folk, a truly Christian act. But no newcomer can come here and do as he pleases. Do you understand? Yes, Bailiff. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? <laughs> yes, Sir Hans challenged me to hand-to-hand -hand combat. I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Okay, right. You can teach me to read. Oh! You can't actually read in this game. I forgot about this. You don't start the game knowing how to read. All the text is like jumbled up and blurry. So you have to learn to read. Can you teach me to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Okay. Uh, is there something going on here? Master Bailey, is there anything of interest going on here? Don't even talk to me. What? Oh, I think he's a bit angry because I insulted him earlier. So maybe I need to do his quest and then he'll give me the other quest. He actually doesn't like me enough to give it, to give me the quest though. That's really interesting. Okay, so if we look on the map, it says join Nightingale patrol between 11 and 19. Okay, right. Um, and then here, pick up your kit at the armory. We should probably go into objective A first because <laughs> we're probably gonna need some armor. Um, before we're even allowed to join in on the uh, patrol. And uh, to be honest, my stuff currently, that I haven't stolen at least, is uh, pretty worse for wear. So I'm going to go ahead and run over to Objective A first and pick up the armory stuff. Is this the place I need to go? No, no, it's a bit further along than this. There are so many beggars in the street. Obviously, after what happened at Scalets, there would be. Okay, is this like a guard tower here? Maybe we'll find the armory in here. Oh, can I get in this way? Right, yes. Talk to guard. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty too, Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. A club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes, I mean please. equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. 
Okay, so I got a few little bits. Oh, actually, I got a, a new helmet and a padded coif. Okay, let's have a quick look at this stuff. A bludgeon. Should I use my bludgeon or... Because a bludgeon, I think, is a kind of weapon that knocks people out. In this game, it does make a difference. So maybe I should equip my bludgeon so I don't accidentally kill people. It's actually a bludgeon. Are you kidding me? It's just a little stick there. Right, there we go. My character is good for the watch now. There's actually a quest just over here. So I think let's go over to this quest and then I will. it will be around 11 by the time I do that. The quest is inside this building somewhere. I didn't actually notice it on my map before. It's there now. You're in a private area. Okay. Just gotta wait for him to come outside. Hello. He's just about to leave as well. He looks like What's a hunter. Up? Do you need some help? Yeah, I do. I wanna know what quest you've Jesus got. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay, bro, chill out. Uh you fight for coin. Ah. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Would I? Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why silver? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you, you've got coin. Ah, right. Do me a favor. Punch me. Quest started. What are the rules? Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Okay, right. I don't want to fight him because my fist fight skill is not good enough. I'm definitely going to get beaten up. And I don't want to lose money. So we're just going to go right, right over the ch churchyard and not lose all our money before we even start this Nightingale patrol thing. Look out, man! Whoa! Wow. Right, we're almost there. Let's go inside and have a look at this church, man. I've not even done that yet. Am I allowed to take weapons? Light shine upon them, and may the souls of all the faithful depart. Look at that! Look at the artwork. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. So some of the pictures oh. on these walls, by the way, guys, they're actually the people who backed this game and supported it on the Kickstarter campaign. Those people who backed it the most actually got, you know, like, artistic portraits of themselves in the game. How cool is that? I mean, that's pretty awesome, being, you know, a little portrait of you in a video game. It's quite a beautiful church. I've actually seen the outside of this church. I don't know how original it is inside, but they restored it to how it would have looked back then, was the idea. And, I mean, this is also a graveyard that still exists. It's really quite amazing how... I've actually been here in real life, and now I'm here in the game as well. Anyway, let's uh, wait here until midday, he said. Um, it's after 11, it says on the quest log, so we'll wait until after 11. Oh, is this him here? Yes, it is. Sitting here waiting for me. I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? How did you know? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. True. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Oh. Well, I, um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You Damn. should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Courtship? I didn't know there was courtship in the game. Oh, we can go and woo Teresa. I'm still trying to get over that that lass back in um, Scalitz that I was dating in the pub. Can't even remember her name. Bianca, that's the one. <laughs> Already over her, I think. Um, I want to serve Sir Radzik. Yeah, I want to be useful. I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. There's going to be trouble, isn't there? Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Okay, right. So we've got to learn from them, I see. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It 
serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. So I think he's going to take us on a tour, guys. And I'm going to listen to what he the says. The grave lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our Just... parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is the market, I think. We already kind of visited this area. Had a little browse. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Already Naturally, have. we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. Execution he lives by Gallows then. Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. They were the kind of exiles to society. Here. And we've actually killed <laughs> the executioner. <laughs> no one knows yet. He's not needed to execute anyone, I guess. I wonder if there's a replacement. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Oh, domestic. Okay, armor smith and beggar well, Jane. Then, what's it to be? Are you going or not? No. I'm gonna go talk to the armor smith. I think he's angry that she's hanging out outside. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thing. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. How is she bothering you, master? Master. How is she bothering you? Let's start with that. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Do you have to beg here, Jane? It's a good question. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. You should let her stay, Master Armourer. I think you ought to leave the poor woman be. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, she's laughing. Why should I? I might bitch slap her now. She's laughing. Because I told you to. Hmm. I could probably get past the Armourer by being aggressive. I think his speech is going to be better than mine. So I'm going to go for the aggressive option. Because I told you to. Do you think I was born yesterday, youngster? I know my rights, and if you don't drive her away, I will. With a whip! Watch your step, Armourer. Raise a hand to that girl and you'll feel the full weight of the law. Ha! Think I'm afraid of you? Look at yourself, a ragged refugee. No one here will listen to you. I've lived here my whole life. I'm a respected trader, and I won't have beggars in front of my shop. As you wish, Armourer. You call yourself a Christian. <laughs> Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? My dear, how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday. Is that true? Might be. Might not. Oh. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. Oh. From the Armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did... That was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. Really? That's true. What would you know about it? Well, you've given her money once. Will you both contribute? We'll both contribute to poor Jane. <laughs> I'm going to be the authoritative one. I think you ought to give Jane something. I gave her a groggion yesterday, and today she's ruining my business. Have you taken leave of your senses? Why should I give her anything? Well, you wouldn't want to look like a heartless bastard in front of the whole town, would you? <laughs> no, certainly not. That's true. There you go, then. Just a coin or two and you'll have an even better name. Oh, for God's oh, success! Sake. Here you are. And don't come back. Thank you. See now? It didn't hurt too much. We resolved it without violence. It didn't feel like beating poor Jane now. up. That I can tell you. But you acted like hey, a good Christian. Hey, look out! I'm really annoyed that he's going to hate me because, like, I want to buy armor from him. <laughs> and I just pissed him off. Ah, oh, I feel like I did the right thing, though. I don't Your know. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. 
Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Hmm? Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. Ah. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Oh, so they have markets, do they? Obviously not on at the moment. Maybe like it changes and they put markets in and they appear. I don't know when market day would be. But it does have like a time scale and schedule and stuff, so it could happen. That's pretty cool if they've done that. Well, I guess we'll find out. We've also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Cheeky. I might go and visit her while she's at home alone. Hmm. <laughs> There's actually There's one a... ale house here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. There's actually a road now all the way through this town to the bottom there. No longer just, you know, like a dirt track or anything. But the countryside around this area looks exactly the same as it is now. There's even a river at the bottom of that valley which we, you know, jumped over earlier on in the series. You discovered... Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okay. So this is the other castle, isn't it? There's two castles here. It's pretty cool. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Oh, is he not allowed to beg that? Okay, so he's going to show us how it's done now. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. You can turn the subtitles off above their heads, by the way, guys. I literally just remembered that you could do that. But um, just Here's in case... Here's the forge. You're the wondering. blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Oh, they... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skullets. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Everyone knows someone who died, I guess. Oh, look, it's the, um, the Lord. I wonder who's going to challenge me to a drinking contest next. Could happen. I won't put it past him. He really wants to beat me at something, doesn't he? I swear to God, I'll beat him at that too. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. Yeah. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. Jesus It'll Christ, take you a year to make head well. or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. What I'm going to do, guys, is just skip along until we get to another event. Otherwise, the video will be going on for a long time. Not that you guys would mind, but, you know, it keeps it interesting. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? 
Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Mm. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. <laughs> so it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Oh, dear. At least the bait. Oh, we're actually jogging. We're moving. We're moving quicker. At least he's actually got some sense, you know, like he doesn't want the bailiff to find out and get even more trouble. Here he is. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? <laughs> Move your carcass. Don't guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! <laughs> Picks up his ale and GTFOs. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Uh, didn't we just rebuke someone for having a drink? That fool got me all worked up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shouldn't we be on patrol? <laughs> Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry. Even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. Uh, but that's okay. enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Sounds good. Why not? We're gonna play. Oh, um. You learned entertainment and games. Help. Okay, here we go. This is a dice game. This game is actually something, a very old game used in medieval times. A dice game. But he actually played it with his friends apparently when they were drinking. And they actually brought it into Kingdom Come Deliverance, and it was actually used back then. So it's quite a cool story about it. But anyway, let's figure this out just for a moment. Let me absorb this knowledge on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to explain this as we go along. We've actually got three of a kind here. So that is 600 points. We've also got two ones here, and that's 200 points. But I'm going to go for the three sixes here, because that's 600, which is quite a lot. And we are going to score and then let him roll. We could hold on to the die, roll again, and then if we get another double with these three dice, we can increase our score even further and keep on rolling. But it's the first of 2,000. I've already got 600 points, so I'm going to score and pass this one. And we'll play it safe. I don't know if we're betting anything here. I don't think we are. Who buys the drinks, maybe? Okay, that's his roll, and he's actually got 400 points from that, and he's rolled again, no luck and he didn't get a double or a one. Therefore, he's bust and he's lost all of his points. Okay, so I've got uh, not a very good roll. I've got 100 points from this, so I'm going to score, and then I'm going to roll again. Let's see what we get this time. I've got less dice to get a double with, but I have got another one, and I'm going to score and roll again again. Because I think four dice, we should get one double on this. Is that two? No. So the only scoring one I have here is a five. So I'm just going to score and pass. Because they're probably not going to score again with that. I've got 850 points now. So we're smashing him. God's holy and he went bust. And he didn't get any doubles or ones or fives or anything. So <gasps> that looks good. Oh my god. We got 1,200 points. And we also got a one. 1,300. I'm going to score and pass. And that's going to win me the game. GG, you won. I hope you guys got that from that tutorial. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. I've actually visited the castle closest to us in that cutscene. We'll go there and visit it properly. But um, there's actually a secret passage Just there. Just one more life. thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate, we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. Oh, legend. Gee. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. The bell is hanging outside the Rathouse. 
Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Okay. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, put your sword away, put your sword away, Henry. What are you doing? Okay, right, let's go and ring the bell. Where is actually the bell? I don't know. This is quite interesting because um, you can see all the guards are getting torches out now. Where is the bell? Let me have a quick look on the map. So the bell is on the other side of town. Let's walk through town. I guarantee something's going to happen when uh, we try and close up the shops. I'm just going to jog through town. I can't be bored to like take my time walking over there. Oh, look. This is Daniel Vara, by the way. You guys already saw him in the cutscene. He's not actually um, voiced by himself. He's voiced by someone else. I can't remember the name of the actor. But here he is in the game. Like, that's actually him. The guy who directed and wrote most of the story. So, like, that's pretty amazing. Okay, we're almost at this bell. I think it's this bell right here. I mean, it's the only bell around. So, yes, he is. So, it must be. Uh, here we go. Let's ring, ring this bell. Okay. Close the trader's tavern by the market square. Let's have a quick look on my map as to where this is. Okay, now we've got to go back and uh, close this tavern, I see. It's quite cool. I mean, like, obviously this is just a commoner's job, but right now we're like... Well, I guess we're a squire and we used to be a peasant, but um, we're kind of working our way up the rank and we're actually doing medieval work. It's quite cool that you're kind of just asked to do this. You know, it's like realistic medieval simulation in that sense. You know, it's not like super exciting, loads of stuff's going on, but it's kind of how it would be, and it's quite nice to roleplay that. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they they oh, do no. find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them, bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at oh. the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. Another the jewel? Bailiff. The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rate. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, oh. is he here? What is he it's hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! Oh. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Oh, God. <laughs> He's drunk. Maybe I stand a chance. I'm terrible with the fistfights. I'm not going to beat up a lord. Oh, my God. This is going to end so horribly. Get out of the way, woman. Ow. I don't know how you dodge that attack. There's a woman just brushing the floor behind him. I don't want to hit her. Oh, yes, you've increased in strength. Come, in, come at me now, bro. Yes, yes. Got him once at least. Oh, okay, what's he doing? 
Did I win? Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell? Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Oh, him? Shut up. Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Ha <laughs> ha, get wrecked. You got school, so, mate. I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. We're getting promotions Let's left, go. right, and centre. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. <laughs> That's how you get promoted in medieval times. Just brawl with the nobles. <laughs> Can't believe this worked out for us. Close the tavern. Okay, objective completed. Game saved. Right, guys. I think we're going to do some petty thieving as the game's just saved. Uh, what in the... What? Maybe we Show can knock yourself. this lady out. And she might give us a key to the house. Maybe, maybe. Let's just hide down here. Come okay, now. yep, that worked. Oh, God. Please don't see that. Oh, my God. Did he not notice? Cool story. Didn't see me strangling anyone. I honestly don't think he knew. Oh, my God. She's got the trunk key and the door key. I kind of just want to loot the trunk right now. Think of how rich this guy is probably going to be. Okay, I can't see anyone. I can't see anyone quickly. This room is literally pitch black. Unlock. Oh my god, look how much. Still all of it. Jesus. I'm over encumbered. I think I just heard the door open upstairs. I've got to get out of... Uh, I've got to get out now. What are oh, there's, you doing there? there's a guard. Jesus, he's coming this way. We did it! We did it! We just escaped. Stop for a, bit. I'll just give you a, quick... a quick search. Oh, no. Oh, he wants to search me. Okay, let's just... I'm going to have to run away from him. Can you hear me? Surrender. See if I can bribe him. I've got so much stuff. Orders of his lordship. I always fail on these speech checks. I'm going to try and bribe him. Whatever you're being paid, I'm sure I can make you a better offer. Uh, I literally have only 20 groschen. Let's go for 18. What do you say to this? Risky. Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. Oh my god, yes. Or I'm actually getting away with it. Okay, I'll meet you at 19. All right, you can go, but not a word to anyone. Thank god, he was like the last to guard. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh god, we actually got away with it. I walked back to the, uh, the house of the miller and then I went to sleep. And now we can finish this quest for him. Hopefully some of these stolen goods I'm still carrying around. Can I talk to you, please, sir? Oh, uh, ah! God save you, Henry. Oh, <laughs> God save you. 
Uh, excuse me, sir. Good day to you. Good day to you too. How did you get mixed up in thieving? Yeah, let's actually ask him this. You've an honest trade. How come you got mixed up in crime? Evil times. The harvest failed. And there was no grain to mill. And a child to feed on top of it all. I had no choice. And meanwhile, the lords in the castle and the monks in the monastery stuffed their craws to bursting. Where's the justice in that? So you took justice into your own hands, is that it? And now you take whatever you need? Pull your head out of your ass, Henry. And take a good look around you. Wars come and go, but nothing really changes. It's the poor that do the dying, and the nobles who reap the rewards. We have to survive somehow, so why concern ourselves with morals? Hmm, fair enough. Do you have any work for me? Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. <laughs> Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ring leader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some wenching. Oh, Too awesome. drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bathhouse visits. And the girls in the baths are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So okay. we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? Sounds good. You can count me in. Consider it done. Provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the bathhouse madam's chambers. Come right back with it once you have it. Right, let's sell the stolen I've got goods. some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. So I'm trading all these items for 180 gold. Let's see if I can haggle that price. I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. I'm going to try to get 210 gold. Since it's you. That's too much. Oh, we are friendly. Let's see if we go 200. Meet halfway. All right, so. Oh, he's gone for it. Awesome. Oh, that's interesting. So if you store your stuff for long enough, they don't become stolen anymore. So this stuff is now technically mine to sell. Well, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and press that little bell icon as well because then YouTube will actually notify you when each episode comes out in case you miss them in the future because we're going to be doing some other guides on where to find some very rare weapons and different secret things hidden in the forests as well. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for those coming out on the channel. I will link them down below in the description. I'll have a separate playlist there where you can find these cool guys for the weapons and lots of different stuff like that but uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in tomorrow's episode have a fantastic day and goodbye